Sanders thought that the inherent weakness of the reptile was an extraordinary need for an abundance of plant material. See, dinosaurs are, after all, all huge. All of them. Every single one. There were definitely no small dinosaurs ever, except the ones that were. But the large herbivorous dinosaurs would have had to eat a tremendous amount of food every day to stay alive. And that part is probably correct. They would have had to consume a tremendous amount of plant matter each day of their lives in order to keep on going. The carnivores obviously didn't have to do this, but they would eat the herbivores. So if the herbivores died out, the carnivores would likely starve. Flanders' theory hinged on the notion that the first representatives of Lepidoptera would have showed up at a time when they did not actually have any real predators, since birds apparently didn't exist. This is something he literally says, which is hysterical given we're talking about dinosaurs, but retrospect is 2020 and all that.